Even though they are transparent, most diamonds contain some hint of color. This is caused by the presence of nitrogen in the earth where they formed. Diamond color grading is done on a scale of D to Z. D is icy white. These diamonds are the most colorless and most rare, so they are considered most valuable. There are 23 descending grades, so the increasing hints of color are very slight. The average person cannot distinguish between several color grades. D, E, and F diamonds are all considered colorless to normal vision. G, H, I, and J are called near colorless, but still considered to be in the white range. K through Z are faint yellow to yellowish or even brownish. A diamond with more color than a Z is a fancy colored diamond and could be a different color like pink or blue. These fancy colors are not graded on the same scale. The shape of a diamond influences the amount of color people may see in it. A round brilliant is the most efficient shape for returning light and will show less apparent color than a mixed cut like a princess or a step cut like an emerald or an asher. But the most important thing is how well a diamond is cut. Diamonds are graded in the face down position and viewed for color from the side. This is because great light return in a diamond can mask color especially in round brilliance. Extremely well cut diamonds may appear more colorless in the face up position than the grade they received at the lab due to the superior light return. For instance, a diamond that was graded in H in the side position can face up like a G or an F, but only if it was extremely well cut. Some people are more color sensitive than others. One person may see color in a diamond that appears to have no color to someone else. Even if you have great sensitivity to color, you may have different preferences than others. The icy whiteness of a D may appeal to one person, while the warmer look of a J may appear to another person. A third person may not even see any difference at all between the two. Once mounted, a diamond will show less color than when it was loose. Remember that the choice of a setting may influence your diamond setting. If you choose a gold setting and have a colorless diamond, that diamond may absorb and reflect back some of the setting color. There are many different combinations and no single one is for everyone. Ultimately, the choices are determined by personal preference and sensitivity. If you're shopping on the internet, you cannot use photography or computer imagery to make color determinations it's best to speak with a trusted expert who has the diamond in hand. You should also consider where the diamond was graded. Some laboratories give easier grades than others. In the United States, the GIA and AGS are widely considered the strongest laboratories. A small percentage of diamonds fluoresce under UV light. This is harmless, and the presence of blue fluorescence can even raise a diamond's apparent color. In some circumstances, a diamond graded as having strong fluorescence may appear oily or milky, but not always. Fluorescence other than blue should be avoided unless it exists in a fancy colored diamond of the same color.